What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, the best place to see all sorts of police interactions and to learn your rights. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like with your comments to help these videos get out there to bring awareness to the public, help to end police misconduct and bring accountability to the government. Now today's videos come from the following channels, Joe Cool, Indiana News and A Boss. So make sure to visit their channel to show them your support because they deserve it. Now let's move on to the videos. What's going on? You. What's up? You got business here? Yeah, right now my business is filming you and be nice. Yeah? Filming me and what? I say be nice. I am being nice. All right, don't act so like we're you're... over here uh, doing an investigation. Thank you. Investigating you what? Permission from any of them over there? I didn't need permission for what? Do I got Stay permission? Right oh, I won't get closer to you. Do I have their permission for what? Hold on a second. All right. Yeah. So they're doing an active investigation right there. Investigating what? I don't know. You don't know. know? They didn't tell you over the radio? <laughs> I'm missing my footage, man. No, is that a law? Don't be record. nice. That's what I meant when I said be nice. I am if you nice. have a lawful order, I'll absolutely follow it. If you're giving me advice, say it's advice. Is there a law that I can't film over this fence? Stop saying it. Is there a what? Is there a law that I can't film over this fence, Sheriff? What's your name? George? Grant. Grant? Yeah. All right. Is there a law that I can't film over this fence, Grant? They're doing an investigation right now. Is that a yes or a no? All right. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Um, well, Grant's acting weird in my opinion. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's giving me a lawful order that I can't film over this gate. And that's not a lawful order because anything I can see from a public position, I can film. You're absolutely right. You can, All right. You can record. And I am not here to cause any trouble. I know no, we got mad. You're fine. Thank you. You're good. Yeah, no worries, man. All um, right. Just so you know, that's railroad right away, so you're not allowed to be over there. Yeah. Because right. railroad. It's Appreciate railroad you. Thing, so just let and you can't go And by the way. way yeah, you're good to go around, man. You're fine. The other guy up front, super professional. Oh, the, uh, the guy the in the The guy in the black. Yes, he talked to me. Awesome, man. Brilliant that's, guy. That's he said the same shit you said. Awesome, bro. Have be, a good be easy. You too. How are you doing? Good. Hey, you got some ID on you real quick? What's that? Is that a gang sign of some kind? Not identification. For what? The post office called said that you're taking can uh, pictures and stuff and they're kind of feeling uncomfortable. So we want to ID you to make sure you're okay. And Not unless I've broken a law, sir. What's that? Not unless I've broken a law. Well, you're you're making people feel uneasy and stuff like that. So we just want to identify you to make sure everything's okay. That'd be right. code 34285 3.5? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, when you tell me what crime I've committed, you I'm obligated. You haven't committed I, a crime. Then I'm not right? obligated but to why are, you, why are you taking pictures and stuff? You're making people feel uneasy. See what I'm saying? When we when we get called to something, we're, we got to serve and protect the people, right? So when they call us and they're concerned about somebody, okay? But I don't, I need, I don't need that, okay? My Fifth Amendment right. Okay. You're being live streamed. What's that? You're being live streamed. That's, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. You Audio and video record. Okay. I know I can. I'm just telling you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm simply letting you know. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Here, well, you want to read it? No, I don't need to read it. I'm well, just well, telling do, you why do, then, then you know my Fifth Amendment. What's that? You know my Fifth Correct. Amendment. Okay. Right. But when we get called a suspicious person, sir. What? Now, now what? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony, sir? What's that? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Well, you haven't committed anything. But then, I'm just trying to figure out who you are. Um, I, you can you can call me good citizen. You can call me whatever you want. You can call me bright guy with a camera. I'm not hiding in the bushes. I didn't say you were hiding in the bushes. Well, I don't know what they said. Well, they, they called concerned. Okay. Well, that's their fears don't trump my rights. Are, are we in agreement with that? No. No. Okay. Well, that's too bad because that's the law. Okay. Well, I know the law, and so do uh -huh. you. We both know the law. And that failure to ID law only pertains to if I've committed a, a misdemeanor or felony. What are you doing taking pictures? I don't answer questions. Okay. I have a right not to. All right. All right. You have a good day, sir, okay? Thank you. Uh-huh. 
You need something? Yeah, ma'am. Lieutenant Doherty with the sheriff's office. This is Detective Russell. Man, we got a call about about you being out here, and they didn't know what the deal was. Is that was. illegal? Well, we get a lot of stolen recovery stuff out here. Uh, okay. A lot of stolen properties found over this way, so somebody had came by the sheriff's office, I guess, said you've been out here about three or four days, so. Okay. So, uh, is that illegal? Well, like I just explained to you, we got a couple. We got a call about. I it. hear so you have a call. And we come. Ha out is something it. what's being investigated? It's something illegal, right? You got two not, detectives not here. Not necessarily. The call was brought to me, <clears throat> and I'm coming out to make sure whatever you're doing, or if you're supposed to be here, if you're working, that's fine. But we just got to verify that, and then we'll be on our way. So yes, we. Got I'm a call. not giving up any information about myself. Okay, do you work for this plumbing company? I haven't done anything illegal, have I? We're not accusing you of doing anything illegal. Well, what am I being investigated for? Somebody called in a suspicious person. That's how it me. Suspicious activity. Okay. And that's so, we're so, investigate the suspicious activity. So that's not illegal though, right? Suspicious. What is... What's, what are y'all investigating illegal? What Y'all are law enforcement, right? Right. So what law... Are y'all suspecting me of having broken? None at this point. Okay. That's what we're here to check out. Okay. So. Somebody somebody drove by and seen all of this. Uh-huh. And it's not normally like this. Okay. So they wanted to make sure well, everything is good. Well, I don't normally talk to detectives, so y'all are being kind of suspicious talking to me. Well, we're a small county. Okay. Uh, well, we're a small department. Okay. So. So, so there's a lot of things that not everybody considers normal. I don't consider two guys who are detectives pulling up on me normal. So that's suspicious to me. So what what law have I broken? First of all, you have not broken a law. What am I being in, What am I being investigated okay. for breaking? Do you work for this company that owns this this lot out here in the National Forest? I'm not. I'm not. I'm claiming my Fifth Amendment. I don't want to answer any questions. Okay. I have a Fifth Amendment right not to in any way incriminate myself. I want to know why y'all are investigating me. And I've explained me. that to you. No, you haven't. You said okay, suspicious. Let, okay, let me break this down to you one more time. You got a call. No, we had a complainant come by the sheriff's office that is out here regularly and has not seen you out here ever before, right? Okay. So he says, hey, there's a vehicle out there. Our past history, we recover a lot of stolen stuff out here. People stripping vehicles, people dumping stuff off. Not saying you're doing that by any means. Okay. But that raises suspicion so for us to go out here and find out. And hey, y'all are law enforcement. Don't cut me off. To come Why not? Here. Why not? Is this not, am I, am I not allowed to speak is what you're saying? You're just asking me to explain to you why we're out here and I'm trying I to do that. I don't need, I don't need a novel on why y'all are out here. I want to get down okay. to the root of things. How can we, on you, sir? I'm not going to get, provide my ID. Okay. Do you have any weapons in there or anything on you? I'm not going to answer any questions okay. according right. to my fifth amendment right. Do y'all have video cameras here? I don't have one. Not in this lot, but yes, sir, I do, and it is being recorded. Okay, right here. and your name is Lieutenant Doherty? Yes, sir, with the Sheriff's Office. With the Sheriff's Office. Do you have a badge number? Yes, sir, it's badge number four. And you, sir? Uh, badge number 52, Detective and, Russell. And your name's Detective Russell? Yes, sir. Okay, and so y'all aren't suspecting me of a crime at this point, right? No, sir, it's just suspicious activity. Right, and so I am. I have to identify myself because somebody called y'all. Is what y'all are saying? Well, this is kind of suspicious. I mean, like a lieutenant. Said, so we recover a lot. So of if you find something to be suspicious, I am forced to surrender my Fourth Amendment right. Do you know what the Constitution says about my Fourth Amendment right? Yes, sir. What does it say? Well. Do you know what the Constitution says about the Fourth Amendment? Yes, sir. You know I what do. the I'm not here to violate in the Bill of Rights. Right. Okay. You are if you're saying I have to provide my ID without having broken any laws. Okay. So we'll, we'll Lieutenant's going to handle all that. We'll let him talk to you about that. Okay? I, I I didn't know that. I thought I had a Fourth Amendment right in this country. All right. So uh, Forestry Service is actually out here. Which, I mean, you don't have to tell me they make contact with you or not. <clears throat> but they, they're going to be coming by to check by with you tomorrow, possibly. Um, you can stay out here for 14 days, but they had ran into you a couple weeks ago at a different location here. 
Right. Not far from here. So, uh, anyway. Um, it's their jurisdiction anyways, ain't it? Yes, sir. It was. He told me I'm being detained right now. Is that correct? Well, you're not under arrest or anything, but yes. Am I being detained? Right. Yes, lawfully sir. detained? And that's with us just questioning you and on why Doesn't you're it say here. about detaining people that you got to have a reasonable, I gave you that reason. I gave you, I gave you that. suspicion of a crime? Right. Yes, sir. And I gave What's you the all crime, that. sir? So I gave you all that, but anyway, they're going to come follow, me they're gonna come follow up with you out here. I didn't say no you committed a crime. crime. We told you. He told you. That's not reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. You can't detain me. Okay. Well, I told you why okay, we were out what? here. You I can told, detain me for no reason. I told you why we were out here, and that's why we were out here. And I have followed sir, up with the forestry service. this is being sloppy service. about your job. You got to learn how to do your job the right okay, way. It's I 2023. Sure will. I it's sure important will. Yes, sir. to have RAS right. of an actual You're crime absolutely right. before you detain me. You're somebody. absolutely right. Okay. Okay. So you have a good evening, sir. Try to stay dry. It's amazing how almost every cop contradicts themselves. These are perfect examples of why you should know your rights and most important, subscribe to the channel so that you can learn to fight to protect them, even from those that made an oath to protect your rights. Because it's clear that most police officers don't know the law. So how are they going to enforce what they don't know? This is why it is important for you to know your rights and help to bring awareness to the rest of the public. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment to keep the conversation going. And remember, always record the police.